Hey everybody, it's me, Angel Benton, and I am back home in Las Vegas, as you can tell by my lovely background. So I I had the General Hospital Convention this weekend, and it was crazy, but I'm going to talk about that in the next episode when I talk about General Hospital. This one I'm going to be talking about Young and the Restless, okay? So Young and the Restless um, has a few interesting... Oh my god, what is that? It's a hair. I got it. I just got out of the shower. Took a nice, lovely shower. Okay. Um, so, Young and the Restless uh, has a few good storylines going on right now. Okay? One of them is the whole um, Reed and his... Oh, what? There we go. We got it. It was fuzz. Uh, one of them is the whole Reed and his mom storyline. That's actually pretty... pretty. Just Okay, so, here's the, so hear me out on this. It's not the first time we've seen a teenager come home after being rapidly aged, soap opera style, and um, having an attitude with his parents, right? Because uh, JJ did the same thing on Days of Our Lives. I could, I could go on and on and on and talk about how many times we've seen that. I'm sure we've probably... I'm sure I could probably go into how many times we've seen that just on Young and the Restless, but... But, um, this is actually being paid, played, I don't know, I kind of like it. Because we get a lot, we get to hear Reed sing a lot. And Reed is actually a really good singer. He really is. And he's a good guitar player, too. So, um, I don't know. I, I, I'm enjoying it. I don't hate it, you know? Um, I don't like the way that it's making Victoria totally a hypocrite, though. Really. Because, here's the thing, and and you know what, I give Nikki credit for this, because Nikki's the one who called her out on it, so good for you, Nikki. So she was talking, because she was talking about how, um, how Reed had actually paid for porn, right? And, um, n basically Nikki was like, yeah, it's much better than being in it, right? Because Victoria had done some adult modeling when she was younger and um that that was good that was good because she was a wild child like Nicholas was never the wild child that um Victoria was Victoria was totally the wild child right um and here's the best part about that too is she went and was bitching to Nick. First of all, that's another thing I didn't care for Victoria is that she went around town and was telling everyone, Reed's business. Yeah, okay, so he did something wrong. He took your credit card and bought some porn. Okay, that's great, but, you know, it's no reason to go around and tell half the town, right? Um. Anyways, so the best part about that was she told her brother Nick, and Nick was like, doesn't he know that you can get that for free? <laughs> I was snapping so hard. That was the best. That was the best. I loved it because he's so right. He's so right. When was the last time any of y'all paid for porn? And listen, I, I'm, I'm, I'm very much of the um, you should pay for porn group. Don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. Because I don't, I don't want to advocate stealing at all. Because that is not, that's, you're not going to have any quality porn. If you want good porn, you should pay for it. But, but let's be honest. How many people are out there doing that? Because let's, no, I'm, that, that'll get me into a whole other story. I don't want to do that. So we're going to stick to the topic, Young and the Restless. Here's another story that I am loving right now, and that is Ashley and um, Phyllis basically, well, they don't fight because Ashley is not interested in Ravi, but I, I, I don't, I, I'm liking seeing the two of them butt heads over Ravi. I think it's great. And I think Ravi's great too. I think that, I think that I'm really enjoying this, um, this storyline, I think it's great. I'm, I think it's wonderful. Okay, moving on to these are some storylines that are uh, are kind of hit or miss, right? I mean, right now Nick and Chelsea are a little bit boring. I hate to say that something needs to happen, something different, and not just Faith being a brat again, 
Because how many times have we seen faith? You know, we saw it before with Avery, right? Yeah, your dad is going to like other chicks, okay? He's not always going to like your mom. So deal with it. Excuse me. Okay, anyways. Um... But yeah, they need something, some sort, something like, I think that, um, I think that maybe she doesn't need to find out everything, but she can find out that Chloe, let's say, played a role in, in Adam getting out of jail or, um, Victor getting out of jail or I don't know what the fuck she, I don't remember. She remembers she came to the, the jail to visit with Victor and she was the chick and no one ever found out about that. Right? So, I think, I, I mean, I don't, she doesn't necessarily have to know that she murdered Adam or allegedly murdered Adam. But, I mean, she could know a little bit. Like, and then you have some conflict, you know. Or um, Grace can come back to town. Or, I don't know, there's got to be some some sort of wrinkle that needs to be put into that relationship. Because right now it's a little boring. It's a little boring. Okay. Another storyline that I think is kind of missing the mark a little bit is Lauren's son, Scotty. Now, here's the thing. Days of Our Lives kind of has a similar storyline, um, but right now. But Lauren, I mean, I'll give her credit. She has mentioned Scotty, you know, once every couple of years she'll mention Scotty or whatever, and that's good. But now all of a sudden she's like, Scotty, you know, and, and he's like, you know, he's held captive in the Middle East and she sends Kevin to go get him, which is ridiculous enough that she sends Kevin of all people to go get him. I mean, really, but, um, you know, I, I just think and this is not, um, Lauren's fault, but I just think that the way that she's being written, I mean, it's kind of, they, she really only really mentioned Scotty that same episode that she found out that he was, you know, kidnapped. I, you know, I don't like that. And Carolyn Hinsey wrote a big old column, I think it was in last week's Soap Opera Digest, where she was like, yeah, if you're going to do a story about characters that are either brand new or characters that are not on canvas, you better dot your I's and cross your T's and show a lot of flashbacks. I mean, like, and I agree with her. I agree with her a lot. So, let's see. Yeah, because she said, she mentioned it. She was like, yeah, you know, like, they could have totally showed a flashback of Sheila stealing Scotty when he was little. Because uh, uh, one of the reasons why... A lot of soaps don't do flashbacks is because it was probably played by a different actor. But in this case, Scotty was a kid, so it would be fine if they, it was played by another actor. That would be excusable, right? Because, like, when Bold and the Beautiful has done flashbacks of Zende when he was a little kid, right? Because it wasn't played by the same actor, obviously. So I think, that, and it worked out fine. I totally think that they could totally do that. 100%. Um, because, you know, and that, then not just that, not just that, but we didn't really get to see anything about the rescue or we saw, a, you know, we saw him held captive and then we see him come home and it's like, girl, okay, okay, you say so. But anyways, but the good thing about that storyline, I will say this, is that it gave Kevin actually kind of good material because Michael was so grateful to Kevin for rescuing Scotty that he offered to take him out to dinner. He goes out to dinner and he starts talking about how he was deeply affected by the things that he saw in the Middle East. Now, I don't want to... He didn't cross into Dylan territory where, you know, he was traumatized, but he definitely was changed by the situation. And as anyone would be. And I, I think that's great. I love it. So... You know, Young and the Restless is doing pretty good. Um, we'll see how those storylines keep going in the future. We'll see. Anyways, thank you so much for logging on today. I do appreciate it. Feel Please feel free to follow me on Twitter at Angel Benton. You can also hashtag uh, YR to talk Young and the Restless with me. Um, and I'm going to be talking 
General Hospital, so you can hashtag GH, because I am all about this convention I went to this weekend. It was crazy. Okay, I'll talk to you later. Have a wonderful day. Peace out, everyone. Wubba, wubba, wubba.